Okay, yo, what's up, my bees? It's your king of the bees. Oh my god, go. Okay. All right, adult swim. This is this is this is how you wanna. This is how you wanna start this week off. <laughs> to re you, you wanna start the week off just to re by re releasing the official trailer for Rick and Morty season seven. You you bees got you bees already know you bees already know I'm I'm watching it. I'm reacting to it. Oh my god. Anyway, my bear, my stuffed animal bear, she now has to get caught up now because this. D d what am I gonna see in this season seven? What song are they gonna choose for this? Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so freaking excited for this, yo. Like, you have no idea, like. Ever since that promo that they released on TikTok and that opening credits for the season seven, I am so, so excited for this. So let's 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 get straight into the, this trailer. Uh, first, I gotta gotta find the remote. Where's the remote? Where's the, where's the remote? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, Maurice, hold on. I'm not here. We might, we might need, we, we, we might need a, <clears throat> oh my goodness, yo, oh, I'm super excited to the point where, you know, I can just, oh, fucking god, oh my god, yo, this, this, this is a, an, oh my goodness, Adult Swim, yo, shout out to you, Adult Swim, you know exactly how to amp up an audience, like, oh my god, my god! I'm so glad, by the way, my bees, go go on my Twitter and you will see the, um, what was it? You will see the, you will see, um, what was I doing? Oh yeah, you will see the, um, well, you won't see it, but you will hear it. It is a Rick and Morty, well, it's a Rick Sanchez AI vocal cover of Returns by Anna. And thank God I just did that because it actually makes sense why I did that because they... Oh my God. Without further ado, my bees, let's just get straight into this, yo. I'm so, so, so happy. I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited for this, my bees. So, three pawn, two pawn, one pawn. I will link down in the description. The original vid in the description down below. I just freaking can't wait to see this, yo. Let's get straight into this. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I don't care. I don't care. Please. Hey, look, Morty! I'm alert! Rick says, what? Any progress? I found the version of me that killed my wife. You just missed it. Oh. oh my god, Gear, Gearhead's coming back! First person's coming back! How long does a society take to collapse? Let's find out! Oh God! I was wondering if you could help me out with a bit of a rake situation. A rake situation. Well, that last one was just for shock value. The bird is back! I see this! Holy shit! That was too much to take in, but oh my god! Okay, okay, I'm gonna like this video. Let's talk about this right now. 
I'll say it again. I, I'll say it again. Every single time they know how to top off every single season of Rick and Morty. Every single freaking time. It just keeps on getting better and better and better and better. Oh my god. You you got you got bird person returning in this. You got you got gearhead returning into this. You got freaking ice tea returning into this. <laughs> oh my god! Alright, alright, we, we need we we need to rewatch this. This deserves a second rewatch. This deserves another watch, yo. This is so good. Oh, oh, oh. oh, this is so cool, yo. And they br even brought back the therapist from like uh Pickle Rick and the Federation episode. Of Red Link at Lake Season three? No, season four. At the end of season four. Let's find out. You got these alien characters back from that uh acid uh bat episode. Oh, is that is that? Oh my God, that reference! That's an MIT reference, yo. Oh, what was it? Neutralizer. That's what it was. Well, that last one was just. Oh, you even got the futuristic best coming back too. You got freaking Ice T coming back, yo. Sunday, October 15th. You already know. You already know, my beef. I'm on it. I'm on it, yo. I'm on it. Holy shit, yo. We gotta see the comments for this. We, we gotta see the comments. The voice isn't as bad as I thought after watching the trailer twice. It's 70% Rick voice and 30% off. I'm glad Morty's voice is 100% accurate. Um, to me, Morty sounds slightly older and not as squeaky as he used to be, but maybe I just hear it wrong. Honestly, I got the opposite. Rick's was more accurate and Morty's was slightly off to me. It just goes to show how well they did picking the new VA. Um, a 10% off for Morty, I'd say. For, for me, Rick's was almost completely accurate and Morty sounded slightly younger. I guess our minds can do tricks when we expect to change. Morty's voice is like 80 out of 20 and it, and it, it is absolutely not 100% accurate. You're making a big mistake. Why do you say Rick fly through space? Those lines and a others are super off. It's so bad. I see his back. You darn right, I see his back. I I just can't believe it. Like they brought back. Yo, what if I I I, I heard on the, that article like they're bringing back some undead characters. So if that's true, then we might see Summer's friend again. And. I, I, hey, I'm saying we might see Evil Morty back again too. Like I, it, oh my God, I actually think Morty sounds really good and matches well with the more confident Morty we have been seeing. And I am happy with Rick when he's not yelling, saying they sound really good. I actually forgot that Rowan was, uh, and completely didn't notice. They did a great job. Uh, the voices are really close, especially Morty is spot on. I feel like Rick needs a bit more of that raspy kind of voice when he's louder and yelling. But it's generally a great match. I'm super excited for the new seasons. Both story-wise and to get com comfy with the new voices. Though with that great a match with the new voices, of, I don't think... Okay, I think I just messed that up. I didn't mean to. Morty's not stuttering at all. Yes, you can tell it's a different VA, but honestly, I'm just glad the show goes on. I'm sure it'll get less jarring as we get used to it. And the old voice will be the weird one. I feel, I think Rick's voice sounds more mellow, not necessarily rough and drunk or cons like he usually sounds. 
Morty, I couldn't tell a a lot. Mm, Morty, I couldn't tell a difference. Just sounds a lot more confident, which matches his character growth. Should be interesting to see. It's clear that Rick's voice is different. If you squint your ears, Morty is spot on. The voices are close enough that I think everyone will get used to them after a few episodes. Still excited for more Rick and Morty. Yo, I'm I'm excited too, Mr. Uh, Jack Kodak. I, I don't want to mess up his name, but I'm liking your comment. Like this is they did a real good job of Summer's voice. Yeah, they really did. Uh, oh my gosh, Morty's voice is absolutely perfect, and that's the one I was the most worried about. Rick sounds a little more noticeably different, it's smoother, and I guess while one could argue it's not as aggressive, I think that this works with his better character development and how he's, uh, calmed down more. Um, I like the new voices. Good job and good luck. I think y'all got this. I'm also happy to see Rick and Morty have two different people. I think they'll bounce off each other and have a more natural chemistry. I feel like these voice actors will really shine in season 8 because they are mostly redubbing this season. Um, the Rick voice actor cannot do Roiland's highs. The lows are pretty good. Rick's voice is really hard to imitate. I knew his would be harder than Morty's. Okay. Rick and... Rick sounds younger, like his voice that still hasn't been used by, oh, decades of alcoholism, okay. Wow, that's honestly a lot closer than I expect it to be. Sounds great. I'm gonna miss the gravel in Rick's voice, but I can't say it's bad. I'm hyped for this, I cannot wait. And the new voices sounds great to me. Obviously not perfect, but still just fantastic to me. Uh, this is by experience, it's, I don't know who this is, but, um, Rick's yelling voice sounds very, okay. Sounds like the new Rick was trying to figure out the voice in the first episode of the season, but figure it out eventually in later episodes. Either way, really close to the original. Exactly. Morty's, uh, yo, I just, like, I can't wait, yo. And right now I'm actually re-watching Rick and Morty. I think I just watched, what, like, season one, uh, to now, I'm on season two of it now. But I just... Dude, this this we we got it. We gotta go. We gotta go snippet to snippet with this. So here, uh, we we get an episode. Some one of these episodes are gonna have Rick Sanchez as a leg. Morty, I'm a leg. In one of them, and then this I'm snippet we have time, that man. uh therapist back from. The Pickle Rick episode and the... I can't remember the Federation episode. She's coming back. Um, and then... Okay, so right here, let's see. So, uh, okay, so is, is, is that a vampire? Oh. Uh, okay, so could this be Blade? Is this a Blade reference? Cause I, cause I'm pretty sure when we got season five, I believe. No wait. Yeah. No. No wait. Was it season six? I believe it was. No. Y no. It was season five. It's definitely season five. They did do a, like they wanted to do a Blade one, but they couldn't. But now we finally get to see a Blade episode. Uh. And you got Squanchy back! You got Squanchy back! You got Tom Kenny's character back in this, and I can't wait. And then you got the two characters, like I said before, from the the Acid Vat episode. I believe it was what? I believe that was in season 5, or season 4, maybe 3, 2... I don't know. Okay, so Rick makes spaghetti. Sorry. Eat it. Sit it quietly. Shut up. And then we have an episode where you out with a bit of a rake situation. A rake situation. Of Rick rebuilding his car, his space car. Um, I wouldn't mind having that. Whoever did the voice for Rick Sanchez's car come back because that 
those two episodes were really good. And then we have this one episode where, uh, I guess this might be an alien creature. Then we have Morty fighting a gorilla. A gorilla. I am not kidding you. We ha we'll, we'll have an episode where Morty fights a gorilla. Uh, and then we have an episode where Futuristic Beth comes back. Well, not Futuristic Beth, would say the real Beth comes back. The and then, of course, the clone Beth. Uh, I can't this wait for the season, though. Yeah. Then we have Keith David's character coming back, the present himself. It, wait a minute, who was that? If you could help me out with a bit of a rape situation. A rape situation? Oh, my goodness. I, I've got to see who that hell that was. I'm hoping it's not who well, I think it is. Just for shock value. Oh, I'm pretty sure. Okay, then we have an episode where... Yeah, we have an episode where uh, Ice T comes back. Or should we say, Water T comes back. And I'm so glad he's coming back. Because... And then we have Goldenfold coming back to, uh, I don't know what they're running from, but we'll see when the episode, episodes come back out for this. Uh, and I believe we're gonna have, I believe, what was his name? I believe it's Gene, right? The, the neighbor character come back in this. And then we have this episode where Rick Sanchez and deer head and burr person are in this party. I, I just really, I just really gotta appreciate. Like hats off to Dan Harmon. He's the one that did this. Maybe he's like, Dan Harmon is the reason why this show is successful. And I'm so, so, so. I, I can't I can't wait for season seven now, yo. Like <laughs> you tell me that freaking water tea is coming back, squanchy, gearhead, bird person, freaking man, I can't wait for this, yo. I cannot wait. This is gonna be really freaking good. I I'm so glad this is finally happening. Like I said, we were going to get season 7 and it, it finally happened. We are getting a freaking season 7 of Rick and Morty. And I couldn't be more happier than I am right now because this, this I am a huge Rick and Morty happy fan right now, yo. Because what you just showed me Adult Swim, you showed me that Squanty is returning, Water Tea is returning, Gearhead is returning, the present character is returning, Squanchy, wait, are, did I say Squanchy? I think I already said Squanchy, but all in all, I can't freaking wait for this episode, this is gonna be, and, and, they already, well, if you haven't, but I'll say it right now, there is, it is connected, it's gonna continue of the plot of, uh, the finale of season six. They're keeping it. My God, I can't wait. I cannot wait for this, yo. I cannot, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I, I cannot freaking wait. So, yeah. I hope that maybe I can get my Rick and Morty t-shirt cleaned for this. Because you know I'm going to wear that shirt when this comes out, yo. I just, I cannot wait. I think I'm ha I'm definitely going to have to download those levels. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But, for, oh my god, yo, this is, this is nuts. This is nuts. Like, oh, by the way, speaking about another freaking, Rick and Morty is not the only show that's coming out. Apparently, there is a sneak peek. I think this is from ALMAO. Shout out to you again, yo. For episode freaking seven of season two of my my favorite, most popular, 
most anticipated, great animated storytelling musical YouTube show series ever. Hell of a boss. Oh my god, I can't wait, yo. I cannot wait. We finally get to meet Mamon? Mamon? I'm hoping I'm saying that right. I can't wait, yo. I don't know. Like I said before, yo, you please, you know what I'm about to say. Who they gonna pick? Who they gonna pick? Who is Vivian Bendrano gonna pick for this, yo? Oh, I can't wait to see who's gonna play as this character because that's what, that's what's so great about Hell of a Boss because you don't know who Vivian Madrano might pick. I don't think I don't know if it's Spindle Horse that picks them or or if it's Vivian Madrano. I, I just I, I'm so so this is a great year, yo. This is a freaking great year. Like the these these great entertainments are coming out. Boom 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 I just, I don't know what to say, yo. I just don't know what to say. I am so freaking, I, you, 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 you be, like, I, God, I'm out of here, yo. Like, like, listen, look, look, look. You already saw, you already saw, yo. You already saw that I'm a huge fan of Rick and Morty. Like, come on, man. Like, look at this, look at this. Look at this, look at this, yo. Let me show you. How much of a fan I am of this show. Okay, so here's the one to four. Or no, one to five. Sorry, my bad. <sighs> Get swifty with this. Oh, yeah, you see that? That's how much of a fan I am with this. Oh my god, yo. This is nuts, yo. Dan Harmon, I just gotta just say I appreciate you. I appreciate you as this director for this show. And just every single time, you always keep on top in every freaking season when, like, people are like, uh, I don't know, like, I don't know if this season's gonna be good, but then... You, Dan Harmon, as a director, for this, you're just like, all right, let's just talk, let let's show let's prove them wrong that we we can top it, and you do, and like like here's the thing about Rick and Morty, my views, like here's the freaking thing, um, I can't believe I'm saying this, but some things are connected to an episode, like for example. Uh, and I believe season one, um, what was it? Oh, God. Damn it. What was it? Ah, uh, it, was, it was one of the episodes. Oh, 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 it was, it was, it was, it was, it was, the, it was the Rick Potion number nine episode where Rick Sanchez says, your opinion means very little to me. And the freaking night person of summer took that. I was like, yo, that's ins that's in that was dope how they did that. Like, I was like, that's a callback to season one. I love how Dan Harmon just as a director for this show. And like, there's references, there's pop cultures in this show every time. Like, uh, just this is so dope man like I can't wait to see more of this like like I said like 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 for for an instance like that one episode with the I believe it was like a purge episode right I had to reference that one that's a pop culture reference the the freaking scary Terry character that's a pop culture reference to a nightmare on Elm Street of uh, the the that that die hard episode that's a Pulp culture to that movie. Freaking, I, I can go on, man. Like, um, the the total Rickall, that is a pop culture reference to 
Total Recall. Uh, a Wrinkle in Time, that is a pop culture reference to A Wrinkle in Time. Um, uh, the, the, the Dipping Sauce, that's a pop culture to the Mulan movie. Uh, man, I can go on and on about this. Like, that one episode where Rick Sanchez, not Rick, my bad, Morty Smith goes out, goes into that portal universe and gets the wine. It, that's a, that's a pop culture reference to the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, it, listen, man, listen, like, I, I got all the pop culture references down with this show, man, like. Um, well, well, let's see, uh, I, I just, like, Inception, there's one, right there, pop culture reference to Inception, which was Lawnmower Dog episode, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, with Snuffles, or, I, it, it blows my mind how, like, just, how better, and it just, it, it, I, I'm just so surprised that Squanchy, Gearhead, Bird Person, freaking Ice, Water Tees, those characters are coming back, and not only that, Keith David's present character is coming back too, yo, oh my god, and if, if they, they can come back, then Summer's friend can come back. Which, that's not a good sign, my bees. It's not a good sign for Rick Sanchez. I, I can't wait for season 7, yo. Like, I just don't know how they're going to do a fin Like, how they're going to top the 5th season finale. No, well, 6th season finale, actually. With, with season 7. But, every single time, they always top up just... I'll say this, season 5 and season 6 has to be one of my two favorite finales of all time. Like, just put those two, like, it, the way that, I, I, I'm just blown away from season 5's finale and season six finale, like, I, I was like, oh my god, I want to see more. I, I just it, that's how much I love this show man like so yeah my bees that was your game bees just just going way out for this like I, I can't wait for um Rick and Morty season 7 like it, it's gonna be a freaking good a good show it's gonna be a good season I cannot wait I'm definitely going to wear my Rick and Morty t-shirt when this hits because and I'll give you my non-spoiler review of each episode going into this because yeah, I got it man like this 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 show is just it like the idea of just it being back to the future but it's not it's a different take on these two characters Marty McFly and Doc Brown you just put it as a an adult humor cartoon, which is Rick and Morty. I mean, they do reference Back to the Future in that one episode with all the the Cinnadel Ricks episode, um, because you do see a, a Morty with like Marty McFly's jacket in the movie Back to the Future. I, I just I I. <laughs> I can't wait for season seven, yo. This, this, this was a good watch, yo. Like, I, and the fact that I don't know, I, I think that was like what I saw from that one, one trailer is we might get a Blade episode for this, and if we do, okay, I'm all for it because a a Blade episode and Rick and Morty. Yeah, yeah, definitely. But yeah, my bees, like, 
I don't. I, why do I keep on repeating myself? I'm sorry, my because I'm just so freaking excited for Rick and Morty season seven, man. Like, it's it's finally happening. I was really like, kind of hesitant that it would not happen, but it's happening. So, this was just your King of Bees just reacting to the trailer of Rick and Morty season seven official trailer, and holy crap, you know I'm gonna watch this when it comes out because. Uh, I got it. It's, it's my favorite show ever since. And I I can, like, probably quote stuff from the show, like the Rubby, rub, the rubby baby, baby Bunkers or, you know, and away we go. See, that's how good that show is. Like, <laughs> and I know I shouldn't reference this, but if... Listen to my bees. I want you to do something before I get off this, okay? I want you to watch Hell of a Boss and then Rick and Morty. Just watch them, like, just watch one episode of Hell of a Boss, then one episode of Rick and Morty, and tell me you don't see the comparisons of, the, like, the similarity traits of these characters that are the same. Because I'll tell you what, Every single time, I don't know what it is, but every single time when I watch this show, I just feel like, you know, Rick Sanchez has the traits of Blitz. Oh, Summer has the traits of, uh, Luna. Morty has, like, kind of like the traits of Moxie, in a way. I, I just... That's... I just... I can't wait, yo. Like, every single time. And not only that, the fighting sequences in this show is... Mind-blowing. The fighting sequences in the show is super mind-blowing. Like, I, I can't wait, yo. I can't wait. Like, I don't know... I don't know how... Like, I'm gonna have to, like, remember... Like, watch all of these episodes. Like, definitely take a trip down memory lane to bees, so. But yeah, my bees, so I gotta get off of this. I've been doing this for like 13 hour, minutes now. Um, so, as always, if you liked my reaction to Rick and Morty Season 7, and if you liked me reading the comments of this Season 7 official trailer, and me just doing, like, just pausing it for snippets of it, and telling you what's gonna, like, like what's up with this one, um, then... Why not sting that subscribe button, sting that like button, sting that notification bell anytime I upload a new video and comment down below. If you are super duper scientifically pumped for Rick and Morty Season 7, because I know I am. So, <clears throat> yeah, my bees, until next time, uh, this is your King of the Bees off this reaction video. And stay brave, stay humble. And Rick and Morty are back, yo.